Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, it's the end of August, today's the 30th, and it's time to show all the pictures that I've done this month. I've only done nine, but they seem to have taken a while to do. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if I showed this one last month or not. It's from Fairy and Fantasy. It was done in July. It was the last one I did in July, so I'm, I'm I'm not sure if I showed it to you or not, but I'm going to show it to you tonight. Um, so this is Christine Karen, Fairy and Fantasy 3. And this is the Queen of the Seven Seas. And I just love this picture. She has such beautiful cheekbones. Oops, my plant leaf's in the way. Sorry about that, everyone. What did I use on her? I used Derwent Lightfast on uh, this picture, and I used a Uniball white gel pen. Um, I did do several pictures this month also with the Derwent Lightfast uh, to get used to them because they are a little bit different to work with. They're really soft and buttery. They're great to work with. Uh, it's a little bit... Um, a difficult, I'm not going to say difficult, but a little bit strange for me because I'm used to working with uh, the polychromos, the oils. I mean, those are my favorite. So uh, the creamy texture of, of these light fast was wonderful to work with. Uh, just a little bit different. To get, it went on like if I pressed too hard, there was color like, wow, instantly. But she's, but she's gorgeous. I really like her. I mean, it says Queen of the Seven Seas, but I could almost think she was an ice queen with the beautiful, that like the blue, the way it just turned out on it. So, that is Christine Karen, Fairy and Fantasy Three. So that'll take me to the end of July. So now I can start my August ones. So I started August off with a page in Kirby Rosanna's uh, Geomorphia. I haven't worked in this one before. I've had it for a little while, but I haven't really done anything with it. And I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to, to work with this. I'm going to move that plant. Okay. So this is the one I did. And it's quite... Um, Quite a different kind of page. Let me see what I used. I can't. I can't remember what I did with this. I know I did put some metallic in there, in the clouds. All right, there you can see the gold. And I did outline the castle in gold too. Where is it? There. It's a late afternoon here, so there, the sun isn't quite shining in this uh, east window. It's just light, so but you can see it. Now I did do, um, I silhouetted the dragon and the witch and the birds. Uh, just, uh, and, the, and I blacked out the windows in the castle. And I did, um, it's not exactly black, but it's deep, deep, deep purple here. Uh, so what I used on this is I used my uh, Karen Dash Pablos for everything that was done in pencil. And I did use white acrylic paint around the castle to give it a, a kind of a glowy look. And I used gold sparkle pop. I guess that's what I used here. On the clouds, I used the gold sparkle pop. There. Yeah, you can see it now. And I also used um, a black uh, Secura Micron and other markers to, to get the, the rocks or crystals really dark at the bottom. And then I just wanted a, a few touches of white from the, almost like a, from the castle. So a lot of... Um, Made it really dark so that the castle with the white would it would just pop right off the page. I'm really happy with this one. I, I really like it. So that's Kirby Rosan's Geomorphia. <laughs> this is kind of different. 
So I, I did get some watercolors. These are um, Kurataki uh, Gensei Tambi watercolors. And I've had them for a while and I haven't done much with them. So I just, I saw um, a video on how to, to uh, do negative painting. So I thought, I'll give it a try. Just give me something to do, something different, you know. Um, so what I did was I, I um, of course, taped the board, taped it down so it didn't get too wrinkly. And um, I just made this pattern, like a leaf pattern, and then traced it where I wanted it. And uh, it, it, I really like it. I really enjoy doing it. I'm trying to learn a little bit about watercolors. It is, a, it is difficult for somebody um, uh, who's not used to how watercolor just goes where it wants to go. Uh, if the paper's wet, it'll just keep on going. So yeah, it was, it was very interesting doing this. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna practice doing more negative like this. It's, uh, it's just very interesting. So I used lots of different colors and uh, it came out pretty good. So that's kind of like original, original pot. Okay, so the next one is in my mouse guard by David Peterson. Oh my goodness, where did it go? I'm sorry about this, I usually have a marker. This time I don't have a marker. What number is it, 252? Oh, I feel silly. No, oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Mm. As you can see, I have some that that um, need to be finished. Well, I guess this is a quick little overview of some of the ones I've done in, in uh, this book. Gosh, I hope I did do one. Yes, I did. I remember it now. There, it's the goat page. Or, yeah, the ram. This was all done with polychromos. Whew, forgot to put the tag on the page. I really enjoyed this this one. I really um, just just enjoyed doing it. I didn't do anything special. I just used my polychromos. Some blue, some green, some red, and I just made that ram just whatever color I had in browns. Yeah, nothing too special, but I kind of wanted to get it done because I had the frog done from a while ago. So, okay. That's David Peterson's mouse guard. So the next one I worked on uh, was Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions, Hannah Lynn's. August, I believe. Yep, this is the one. It's, um, I think it's Chinese New Year. She's so, she's so cute, isn't she? I like her. I didn't make the hair very dark. Maybe could have made it a little bit darker. But what I used on this was my uh, polychromos. I used, I did use a Prisma White, and I believe I used that a little bit over her shirt right here, and a little bit um, on the eyebrows of the dragon. I did use some Pentel Sparkle Pop, and I did use Jelly Roll Glaze. I used the black Jelly Roll Glaze for his tongue, and the Sparkle Pop is the gold here on the dragon. Come on, come on. You can see it a little bit there. And I also used um, the gold Sparkle Pop on um, her outfit, her kimono the edging and then also the lanterns the 
just the banding on the lanterns and then some of the fringe on the bottom. And uh, up here on the dragon, the design on the ruff of his uh, neck and uh, down his, some of the scales down here, I did use um, the gold sparkle pop on that also. I don't know. What is that? Does that work better? It might. The light from above is uh, tricky. So that's Whimsy Girls Through the Holidays and Special Occasions or Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. It's a big one to, to bring up and down, isn't it? Kind of gets in, <laughs> kind of hits the camera every time. So next I worked on uh, Friendship, Vintage Grayscale, Grayscale Art by Rachel Mintz. And I completed Sorry about that. I completed this page here. Man, my lighting's not good tonight. I apologize. Let's see if maybe that'll help. Oh, that might help a bit. There. What a cute little devil, eh? So this one was uh, done with polychromos and pablos. I didn't use any gel pens or anything like on it, like that on it. Just used my trusty Pablos and uh, Polychromos. The dandelions, I had a little bit of fun putting them pinkish color. I kind of went by the the colors on the front for the dandelion, because yeah, I don't know how to do dandelions or anything like that. So I just kind of uh, took Rachel's guidance and uh, did the best I could. And I, I like him, he's cute. Everybody I know loves this little guy. So that's Rachel Mintz, Friendship, Vintage Art, Grayscale. And the next one I worked on is Hannah Carlson's Jewelry Box. Yeah, I like that better. So this page, I did use a stencil with some, I believe this was um, Distress Ink. Let me take a look. I did um, use Distress Ink and then everything else like the, the pencils were um, my Caran d'Ache Pablos and then I did use a Uniball Signo. Uh, the silver here on the crystals. There, there, yep. And on the uh, apples. But I really enjoyed using just that stencil and some Distress Ink. It's kind of hard to, uh, for me to imagine what would go around this. And I didn't want to color the whole thing in or paint it all. So just thought, ah, some green, kind of the same color of those leaves. And yeah, just a stencil of circles. And I just made them all over the place. So I, I really like it. I really like how the uh, the sparkle pop sparkles there. So that's Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. I don't know if anybody's heard how she's doing or anything like that. If anybody knows, maybe you could leave it in the um, comment section for me. And next I worked on Flora by Marie Troll. And what did I use? I used my Derwent Light Fast in this one. And I did use um, assorted gel pens, as you can see, and I used them just on the butterflies. There. The flowers, I kind of used the same colors, but I went, you know, I used the deep red in one and then the orangey in the other. And these little cute guys, I kind of made them all the same color, a pinky mauve colors. I, I really like this picture. I, I think it turned out well. 
text. I like it. I love the butterflies. They turned out so sweet with the uh, gel pens. And the flowers, I, I, I really like the flowers. The, they've got the similar colors and some of the same colors, but they're all different. And this is where I, I, I had some more fun with the uh, Light Fast. Uh, the leaves over here are much more vibrant. I, I put much more on than I, I intended. And wow, did they ever come uh, get nice and bright. And then over on this page, I tried to subdue it a little to see the difference. And, and you can see the up top, these leaves are a little bit brighter. And then these ones down here, I made them just a little bit lighter to, um, to see if I could well, kind of monitor the difference, I guess, and see which one I like best. Still haven't made up my mind, but I did like working with them. And on this kind of paper, they work, they're lovely. So that's Marie Troll and Flora. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, then the next one was um, Fairy Tales by Emily Littlehall Oberg. And this one I kept really um, light because I wanted the wanted the swan to kind of a glow white. Um, I think I used I used my polychromos on this. I used some sparkle pop around the swan, but I also used white acrylic paint on the swan. I couldn't find, I tried like, I don't know how many pencils, markers, all sorts of things to get her to look really nice and white and kind of that glowy look. And I just, I just couldn't get it. I'm going to have to practice on something else, but I, um, I did manage with some white acrylic paint to, to kind of get it to glow a bit. And then I put that, um, uh, the silver, like I said, the sparkle pop around, I traced all around the, the swan with it um, to cover, help cover the black line, but also to make it kind of um, get a bit of definition, but not too much definition. I put the long grass in the background and um, a little bit of dirt here. And then I um, did kind of a off-white glow for the back behind uh, the... Um, the swan and then I just kept um, the leaves I used three different um, combinations for the leaves and the stems and stuff so that they'd kind of all go together and uh, blend harmoniously and then have that white swan in the middle so I'm very happy how how this turned out so once again that's fairy tales by Emily Littlehall Oberk. One more book, and just a quick note. This is a, um, a mat, but I'll tell you, it's a really weird mat because sometimes when I'm looking for my pen or a paper clip, I reach down because, yeah, I actually think it's there. It's awesome. I think I got this at Dollarama for a buck fifty, and it's, I like it because I, I, I can put paint and stuff on it and it doesn't bother me. So my last book is uh, Clara Markova's Fairy Tale Touch of Magic. I think it's Touch. Fairy Touch of Magic, sorry. And I did her. So the, the flower, not sure if it's a carnation or a rose or whatever, but I went with quite a, quite a lot of different reds and made it very, very vibrant. And I I kept her hair light until the end because I didn't. I knew I wanted a different shades of blondies, blondish colorings, and some light uh, browns, brunettes. But with that bright red, I didn't know how how uh, deep I wanted it. So I left most of her skin and her hair to the very end, so I could, because um, I wanted her to be real pale compared to the the bright red flowers. And I did use some sparkle pops and uh, glitter gel pens on the bee's wings and the hearts and the ribbons in her hair. Hang on, there, right there. 
the ribbons in her hair and the ribbon around her neck. Now these were the Derwent Lightfast also. I believe is what I used on on um, the flower. Uh, my polychromos, I'm sure I used that for the skin. And I made her cheeks really rosy. And then blue. Blue for her little frock, uh, sun sundress, whatever it's going to be. It's off the shoulder and... Yeah, I had fun doing the bees. I did them all the same. Kind of accented their the tops and bottoms of their heads and their legs. Well, that's it, everyone. Those are all my pages for the month of August and one from July. I hope everyone has a fabulous uh, day. And I'll see you in my next video. And I can hardly wait to see everybody else's finished pages. Thanks, everyone. Bye.